Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge playing Mickey Hennessy in Old School RuneScape. I'm standing here with Launa at the Rift. We've just been chatting, and I'm getting ready to do part two of the easy stash locations and item requirements. I'm fully stocked on the first five stash locations, and we're going to go to the Silveria Mine to start, and then the work our way through Varric and so forth. So let's get to it. Let's get this done. Okay, we are here at the Silveria Mine. Rag and Bone Man. There's the old guy right there. And this is a little rock outcropping. We are going to need bronze plate legs, a steel pickaxe, and a steel medium helm for this one. I actually had to uh, put it in my bank pan because I uh, just logged into the game to start doing this. That was good. All right, we're done there. Let's uh, head over to the lumber mill. Okay, we're kicking it with the sawmill operator here. Just off to the side is the easy stash location. It's going to require a hard leather body, leather chaps, and a bronze axe. Okay, that's done. Let's head down to the exam center for the next easy stash location. Okay, here at the exam center, right next to the big urn. Outside, you will find the next stash. We've got a white apron, green uh, boots, the gnome boots, and leather gloves. Let's go to Varric. Here we are outside the Varric Palace Courtyard. Easy stash. It's going to take a black axe, a coif, and a ruby ring. Love it. That's probably the most expensive part, that ruby ring. All right. Next up, Grand Exchange. Here at the Grand Exchange, just off to the left of the entrance, you'll find the next easy stash location. It's going to need a pink skirt, pink robe top, and a body tiara. All right, that's the first five down. Just a few more to go. Looking good. Yay! All right, we're here inside the Varric Palace Library. Right inside the door is the next easy stash location. This is going to require a green, green gnome robe top, ham robe bottom, and an iron warhammer. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's move on to Aubrey's. Here at Aubrey's, you'll see there's a crate just inside the door. Going to need an air tiara and a water staff. Real basic. Just two items for this one. Now we're going to begin to move south into the Alcarid area. All right, here in the Alcarid mine, there's this inconspicuous looking rock over here. Uh, and it's going to take a desert robe top, leather gloves, and leather boots to fill that hole. All right. That stash is complete. Let's go to the Dual Arena office. Here at the Dual Arena office, just inside the door, is the crate for that stash. It's going to require an iron chain body, leather chaps, and a coif. And that's it. Now we got to move to the Camelot uh, Sears Village area for the next round. As you're coming north towards Sinclair Mansion, there's some rock outcropping. Right over here to the left, it is going to require a leather cowl, an iron scimitar, and a blue wizard top. Pretty straightforward. Now we go south. When you get to the beehives, you want to look south for a little bush. That's the next stash location, requiring a desert robe top, a green gnome robe bottom, and a steel axe. All right, nice and straightforward. Keep the fan axed. Here at Keep the Fay, there's just a hole in the ground. For this stash, it's going to require a coif, an iron plate body, and some leather gloves. That's a nice one. Sometimes these bats will attack you if your combat level isn't high enough. Now go south. Here at the Legends Guild, just to the east of the gate and to the west of the fairy ring, is the stash. We will need iron plate legs, emerald amulet, and an oak longbow. Wow, that makes that easy. Love it. Moving on. Now we're going to climb to the top of the Ardoin um, mill. And there's a little stash box over here. That's going to take a blue robe top, a ham robe bottom. Oh, look at that. Level 35 or 36 construction. Wow, rocking and rolling. Uh, and then a just regular tiara, not an enchanted tiara. Making that a little easier. All right, we're just coming over from the mill to the fishing guild. And there's a nice little hole in the ground for our next stash. And this will require an emerald ring, 
a sapphire amulet, and a bronze chain body. And we only have one left, and that's in the Ardoin Zoo with Parody Pete. So let's go have a chat with him. All right, right near the top entrance of the uh, Ardoin Zoo is the next and final stash. Good old Parody Pete's right here. It's going to require a, or a studded leather body, uh, bronze plate legs, and a staff. Making that one pretty straightforward and easy. Let's hang out with the parrots for a second and uh, look at some requirements and experience. I didn't mention earlier that there's some requirements. Uh, level 12 construction for the beginner stashes and level 27 construction for the easy stash. But the, that provides a total of 4,800 construction experience points. Well, I've got a little bit of work to do. I'm only level 36 construction. If I want to do the medium stash locations and requirements, and make a video for that. So got some got some construction work to do. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you like all this RuneScape content, please do subscribe and comment uh, down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. And, um, you know, like I say, I'm always taking requests. And it uh, it means a lot to me for... Uh, to hear people say, hey, I want to see this, Sturge. So thanks for watching. Ciao for now.